In this video, we are going to create a web app such that the user can sign in. They can also log out. And of course, they can also sign up with the new email account. First, we are going to create a new project with we add Firebase login email. And next, we are going to go in the folder by using cd.firebase cd we add firebase login email so after we enter the folder we are going to type code dot to open the vs code so now we already opened the vs code and the first is we are going to the terminal and we are going to start the server by using npm start now we are going to delete the app.test and also the report web vitals and set up test and also the logo and then we go to the index.js and remove the report web vitals and also we do not need to import this and also when we go back to the app.js we do not need to import the logo and delete this content and we should also save the index.js now if you refresh the page it should just has a blank page here and if we type app it should already display the app so now under the source folder we are going to create the components so we create a new folder components and inside the components folder we create the home.js and also the sign.js and then we create the arrow functions inside the home.js and also the sign.js so at this moment we just type the word sign.in and also the home to distinguish these two page so we back to the app.js we are going to import these two components we are going to import the home and also the sign.in now we can see the home and also the sign.in these two words here and now we command this sign.in component first and go back to the home.js and then we type h1 and type welcome home now you can see the home page and also now we can go to the sign in form and also create the sign in doc css and now we back to the sign in component and we create a div with class name equal to sign in and then the form and then h1 with sign in and then input with the type email and also with another input with the type password at last we are going to create a button and which is sign in which allow the user to sign in and later we will attach a function to this button and so you can go back to the app.js and see what happened inside the sign in component by commands the home page and just show the sign in components now you see these input fields and also the buttons in a row so we have to add the css to fix this now we back to the css we type dot sign in and then we type mass width is equal to 300 pixel and margin nav is equal to auto and margin right is equal to auto and now we are going to add the css to the form because we already have the form element so we type dot sign in and then go to the form and then we type display grid and also fast direction is equal to column and we forgot to import the sign.css and we back to the CSS we want to add some space between the input field and also the buttons so we have to add sign and then input and we should add the form first because the input is inside the form and then we have the margin bottom of 5 pixel now we back to the sign and also add a word of and then we type not yet register and then we add a span and then we add side up now we have this word and we want to make some decoration here so we add the class name equal to sign in and then link so we copy this word and back to the css and then we type hover so it has the effect when the mouse over this word and then the decoration underline so now when the mouse move over the 
word, it will become underlined so the user can recognize this is a link. Now we go to the Firebase and we are going to add a new project. And also we now start typing the name, we add Firebase email login. And then we click continue and we disable the Google Analytics and click continue. And after we create a project, we have to go to the authentications and we press get started and we enable these email authentications and click save. Now we go to the project setting and under here, you can see to select a platform to get started and we select the web app. And again, we type some name here. We also type, we add Firebase email login and register. Now you can see these configuration files. So we copy this and go to the project. And under the source folder, we create a firebase.js. And then inside the terminal, we are going to install the Firebase package by typing npm install Firebase. Now we copy this and paste to this firebase.js. And then we are going to import the Firebase from Firebase. And then we add the constant of Firebase app is equal to Firebase dot initialize app. And then we add another variable is db is equal to Firebase dot Firestore. And then constant of is equal to Firebase dot off. Now we are going to export this. We export the authentications and also we export the db as default. So we can use these two variables for doing the authentications by using the auth and also we use the Firebase by using this DB variables. So we go to the signin.js and we are going to use the use ref to get the values from these two input fields. So first we are going to add the constant email ref is equal to use ref and we put the note and then the next is the password ref and the input is ref is equal to email ref and the password is equal to the password ref. Now we are going to create the sign up functions by adding constant sign up is equal to these arrow functions and we will pass the event here because we don't want the web page refresh when we click on the sign up. So we go to E dot prevent default and then we have off dot create we have to import it off from the firebase and then dot create user with email and password and then we have email ref dot current dot values and then we have password ref dot current dot values and then dot then and then user and we want to plot the user to see in the console and then if there's error we want to catch them so we catch the error and then console.load error so now we can test the sign up functions by using a dummy email and then we click sign up and we want to go to the console first and we click sign up because we forgot to buy the functions on the sign up so we have to add the on click and then we can now try it again and click on the sign up. Now you can see the user data already appeared here. And if you go to the Firebase and go to authentications, and you can see if we already registered because the email already displayed here. So the next is we are going to go to the sign in. We are going to create the sign in functions. And the uh, sign in is very similar to the sign up. So we just copy this and paste here. And then we type sign in and then instead of using create email and password we type off dot sign in with email and password now at the on click at the sign in buttons we add on click is equal to sign in so now if you go to the website and we clear the console and click sign in you can see it display the user but if we type some email that not exist it will display the error for example we type the two here and click sign in you can see it has the error that the user not found and this is how good to use the firebase to log in to keep track of the login status of the user we have to back to the app.js and then we use the use effect and we type use effect 
we also import the use effects from the React. And what we do is going to use the off dot on off stage. So we import the off from the Firebase dot js dot on off stage changed, and then user off. And then if the user exists, we are going to set the user else. We will set the user now. We haven't created the state, so we are going to create a state by using use state, and then we set the user. We capitalize the user and we set the initial value is null. We also have to import the use state from the React and we do not have the cleanup yet, so we have to let this variable unsubscribe is equal to this on off state change. And then if it's going to unmount this component, we are going to clean up this function by using return unsubscribe and we delete these input values. And we can check it by using console.load user of here. We are going to clean the console and refresh the page. Now you can see the user data here. And by using this, we are going to set the user. Uh, but before we have to create a user variable and UID is equal to user of dot UID and email is equal to user of dot email. So now we can set the user to user, and if there is no user, we are going to set the user is no. So what is the use of this is, we are going to load different components, depends on whether we have this user data. So at here we are going to type, if that user exists, we are going to load the home component, otherwise we are going to load the sign in component. So now you can see we already have the user, so we already automatically go to the home page. So one more thing left is we forgot to add the sign out button. So we back to the home page and under here we use a paragraph. And inside the paragraph we add a button called sign out. To sign out the Firebase, this is very easy because it's just a one night function by adding on click and then off dot side out. But first we have to import the off first. We import the off from the Firebase JS which we already created here. So we back to the home page and we set off dot side out. Now we click side out. It said the UID is now because when you side out we cannot get this user off. So to fix this we have to add the optional change so we add the question mark to both of these. So now if we refresh the page, it already go to the sign in form. And now we go to sign in again and click sign in. Now it already entered the home page. And when we click sign out, it will jump back to the sign in page. 